Morning ladies, I've just very quickly come on um, if you remember I showed you this box card the other day um, when I was showcasing some of my cards um, well I had a person message me wanting to know how I constructed the card um, so I've gone ahead and I've scored all mine already but you're going to need a sheet of cardstock measuring 10 inches lengthways by eight and a quarter width. And on the long side, you're going to score at two, three and a half, six and a half and eight. I'll go through that again on the long side. You're going to score a two, three and a half, six and a half, and eight. Then you're going to turn it to the short side. And you're going to score it at one and a half. Let me think. <laughs> yeah, the short side. Going to score it at one and a half and six and three quarters, if that makes sense. <laughs> but it will all make sense when I show you how you construction it. Right at the on the long side, at the five inch score on your scoreboard, you're just going to put a little notch on the top and the bottom on the middle panel then you're going to take your ruler and you're going to line up with that notch to the corner and just score it with your bone folder okay um, and then you cut away all of the four corners them away completely we can lose them they were your one and a half and your six and three quarter score lines so you can lose them on all four corners and is the sun coming out So we've lost all our four corners so that's what you should be left with now that's what it should look like then you're going to cut on these corners the four corners you're going to cut up to that middle score line and no further so you're just going to cut up to there on all four Okay, so we're off now with them on all four sides. Now I would give them a little notch out. Not much, just a little sliver. if you want to you can come back in afterwards if they need a bit more taken off because it's easy to take away than add to <laughs>
Okay, so that's what we're left with, get rid of all them bits. And now we're going to fold on our score lines. So the first fold, the first score line you have, you fill back like that. Okay, then on your second score line, you fold forward. So it's like a Z. And just reinforce them score lines by burnishing them. Okay, and repeat it on the opposite side. So you fill back, burnish, and you fold forward. And burnish. I'm just going to have to take a little bit more off there. quite get up to the score line okay so now it looks like that and that's your opening okay so then these tabs that you left at the top and bottom see these two square tabs fill them in and burnish And again on the opposite side, fold them in and burnish. Okay. Now what you're going to do is turn it over. And this is the important bit. You're going to lift that line. And you're going to fold it up. And burnish and again fill it up and burnish so you left with something like that okay it doesn't matter which way you do it you can do it that way or you can do it front ways it doesn't really matter as long as you burnish them lines and you're going to do that on both sides fill it up burnish Fold it up so you've got a V in the middle and burnish so it looks like that. Okay. Hope I'm making sense. <laughs> then on the four corners, you're going to take your turn tape or whatever sticky stuff you prefer. on all four corners, all four of them squares. They're easy to remove. Okay. Just remove your two that are facing you at the minute. And I'm, what you're going to do is bring it round, bring it up to that score line. Okay. My arm's in the way. <laughs> you're going to bring it up to your score line. And you're just going to fold it round. Okay. So that's what it's going to look like. 
and then again you do exactly the same on the other side as the sun blinding us again. Bring it up to your score line and fold it round. And you do that on all four sides of your cardstock. Okay, so you're going under that flap, you're bringing it up to your score line. Okay. And then you're tucking it in and gluing it down. And again, up to your score line and fold it in. And then fold your card flat <laughs> and just reinforce all them score lines again, front and back. And there's your basic box card. Now the panels you'll need for that measure your mat and layers, what have I done with them? <laughs> they right in front of me. Your mat and layers. Don't forget you're gonna need two of each. Okay, and they measure five, your big coloured one measures five and one eighth. By one and seven eight. The seven eight is just the line just before the two inch. And then your second layer, which I'm using very vanilla, is five and one and three quarter inches. So you just get that little pop of the colour behind and they go on your panels on the side of your card. Okay, so you just get that little pop of colour. Okay, so there's that there. So that's what you'd end up with. And if you want to put it in, say, panel in, that measures 5 and 1 eighth by 2 and 7 eighths. So I'll give you them message, measure, measurements again. Your box base is going to start off at 10 inches by 8 and a quarter inches. Then you're going to score on the long side at 2 inches, 3 and a half inches, 6 and a half inches and 8 inches. And then on your short side you're going to score at 1 and a half and 6 and 3 quarters. Then what you're going to do is on the 5 inch mark, you're just going to make a notch on the top and on the bottom. Then you're going to take your ruler and you see where I've done there. You take your ruler point to point to that 5 inch mark and just make a score line on both ends, on both sides. So it ends up like that. Okay. And then for your panels, as I say, the insert panel, this one, is five and one eighth lengthwise by two and seven eighths widthwise. Your outer panels, and I have got two there, <laughs> it's just that I've distressed it a bit. And um, you have they measure five and one eighth, eighth lengthwise. And one and seven eighths. Now the seven eighths is just before the notch, just before the two inch line. And you want two each of them. And that's your basic card done. 
okay so i hope that helps and um, thank you for ask, uh, messaging me and uh, um asking me to show you how it's done i do appreciate it um all this is made using stampin up supplies stampin up products if you haven't got a catalogue please leave me a message and i will get one out in the post here um the seasonal catalogue or holiday catalogue um is out at the minute for demonstrators but you can order from it from the 2nd of September, I do believe. Um, so if you'd like to see any more that I've shown, um, please, please feel free to leave me a message and I'll do my best to come on and show you exactly how I've constructed the card. So thank you very much. I hope that helps and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care for now. Bye bye.